Hello, this is the third part in a series of videos that I'm talking about look at functions in Unreal. On this one, I'm going to talk about the find relative look at rotation. The find relative look at rotation function is very similar to the find look at rotation function in Unreal. There's a bit of a difference. So for this one, instead of just passing a start and target location, you pass in a start transform and a target location. So the target location is very similar, just the location of the thing you want to look at to rotate the x-axis of your object towards. But the first parameter is the transform because it also wants to know the rotation your current object has. And then it's going to give you the difference from that current rotation to make it look at your target. So it's the difference between the rotation it has now to the rotation you need to apply to it so that it looks at, it, at the target. So right now, this is active. My cone is, this is the rotation of the cone looking at the sphere. So if I move the sphere around, you're going to see that it changes depending on where the cone and the sphere is. This is the rotation I would have to apply to the cone in order to make the cone look at the sphere. If I move the cone, it still works, right? And this just looks like a simple look at rotation being applied to this actor. The look at rotation from this cone to the sphere. But look what happens if I rotate the cone, because right now it has zero rotation. Let me rotate it. So I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees towards this way. And you can see this vector here rotated 90 degrees towards the opposite way. This is telling me that to make this cone's x axis rotate to point its x-axis at the sphere, it needs a 90 degree rotation to counterclockwise if you look from this direction. So this is just the offset, you see? And if I move it up or down, it starts to get to look <laughs> very complicated. But I don't think this is really something you should worry about visualizing. I just wanted you to see that it's not just like the look at function, the find look at function, it's the offset. So this is something you want to apply to this object in order to have it looking at this object here. Now I can't think of lots of uses for this function, but one does come to mind. Imagine you have a character holding a gun and the gun is pointing towards something, but you need it to point towards a specific object in the world. So you know, you know that object's location, you know the gun rotation, but you need to rotate the hand of the character to make the gun rotate. And hand and gun don't have the same rotation, which happens very often because of grip angle or whatnot. So what you would do is you get the look at relative difference from the gun towards the target, and then you apply that difference to the hand rotation. So that's how you could use the relative look at rotation, the difference from one thing to make it look towards something else and apply that to a different object because the object you need to rotate is not the one where you calculated the look at rotation from.